Canvas Studio. Editing features. Adding overlays to add emphasis. We're looking at Canvas Studio and how to add overlays. Overlays are a way to add emphasis to your video. So let's go ahead and start with a title. We're going to put our pointer down here and come up to Tools. And then go to Overlay and click Text. To change the text, it always starts off with your text goes here. You change the text and call it whatever you want to. And I'm going to call this title of video. And then if I want to change the style of it, I click here. And the color of the text is yellow. I can change that to a different color. And I can change the background color from blue to say purple. And when I'm done, I click done. Now this is going to be repeated for almost all the overlays are going to give you the insertion with a fade in and the exit is going to fade out. So I can control how long that piece of text is going to be on the screen and I can click here on in and out to change what it's going to do on the transition. See? And so right now I could have it pop or I can have it fade. So those are your choices and you click OK. So let's watch that. OK, so we've got our first overlay done. Let's move down a little bit and add another overlay. So this time let's add an emphasis to the screen, which is really nice. You could focus on a particular part of the screen when you want your person who you're training to know a particular aspect. You, you could focus the overlay by using this outline here. You could have it focus on a particular aspect like the record button up here. I could have it come up here and just circle the record button like that and I don't particularly like the color and it's too thick so let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to click the color and make it red and then I'm going to change the thickness so it's just circled like that and then I click done and I click OK and so during this time frame there will be a circle around the record button. Another way to add emphasis is to add an arrow so we come to tools again and we're going to go to overlay, arrow, and you'll see that the arrow shows on the screen and you can have it pointing at a particular element like this sliding um, feature here. And so you could have it point like that and you can change the color again and you can change the thickness of the line. And again, how long you want that on the screen. Sometimes you want an arrow there for just a split second like that and then you click OK. And now during that segment of time, there's an arrow. Again, we've already talked about having the cursor show up on the screen, and that's also something that you might do when you're doing these overlays, is to have it turn off while you're doing that emphasis. So the focus would be on the emphasis. OK, if you want to add an image on the screen, you can come here to Tools and go to Overlay and click image and you can then cut and copy one prior and then you can use it from the clipboard but in this case I want to go to my folders and I want to pick an image. I'm going to pick the beach and then I can add that image onto the screen like that resize it to the whatever size I want it to be. It also has the, the focus blurring as it comes in and blurring when it goes out. So if I move over here and move over right here, you'll see it's blurred and blurred again. So that's going to be the same consistent functions that you get each time. And I'm going to click OK. Now, if I move down a bit, I can add another emphasis, which I kind of like this. If you really want to focus on something you can black out everything else on the screen by using a highlight. So let's go to Tools, Overlay, Highlight. And the highlight is this box. So wherever I put the box, 
the screen is going to show up. So if I only want the screen to show up in this particular segment right here, you see that the, the styling is going to be purple for everything else. So if I want to change that, again, I go to the color and then I change it to something else. And that's kind of nice. So I click done and then click OK. So we now have that particular part of the screen, the focus. Now, if you have um, a part of the screen that you want to blur out or the whole screen at a certain time, you click Tools, go to Overlay, go to Blur, and you see it's very similar to the highlight. It's only going to blur inside the box. So if I want to blur something down here, like I don't want people to see that, like maybe it has student information and it has grades or something, I can add that blur so that that information cannot be read. And so you only need the blur during the time period that that information is showing up or maybe someone's face and you don't have permission to show their face and then you click OK. So those are your options for overlays and I hope you are enjoying learning Canvas Studio.